Hello. I wonder whether, like me, this week you've been uh, watching some of the Tokyo Olympics on the TV. I'm not generally a, a fan of, of sport on TV, but I have to admit to have been drawn in by marvelling at the human feats of strength, technique and artistry. There was a suggestion by someone on Facebook that every Olympic sports event should have a warm up act. Somebody plucked from the crowd or their sofa to have a go at one of these things that we've been watching, thereby showing the world just how dangerous and difficult these things are, as if we needed proving. And that was quite amusing until you thought, there would be deaths, people falling off beams or an unsuspecting official being speared by a javelin. These athletes are indeed remarkable people and it's impossible for the commentators to simply describe the sport without saying something about the person. In doing so, we are inspired, but also perhaps challenged. And I wonder what will be the personal stories we'll remember and perhaps learn from that we've seen in the Tokyo Games. Perhaps Peter Boll, the Australian 800 metre runner who led from the start right up to the 700 metres, only to be overtaken at the finishing line so he came in fourth place, but a, a winner in so many other ways as a Sudanese refugee whose family fled the civil war there when he was four. And he's captured the hearts of the Australian nation and spoken so eloquently about race. Or perhaps Simone Biles the most decorated American gymnast in history, who withdrew from the competition because of her mental health. And she came back to encouraging, compassionate, rapturous applause to win the bronze medal on the beam. Or perhaps the British BMX gold medal winner Bethany Shriver, who had to raise money through crowdfunding from her fans when, in 2017, the government agency UK Sport announced it would only fund male riders at the Tokyo Games. There are hundreds more stories out there, as many as there are competitors. And they hold a mirror to society about our attitudes towards things like gender, race, sexuality, money, mental health. As we watch from the sofa, we might not be able to do what these remarkable people do, but we can engage with the issues they raise simply by us appreciating who they are. It was Eric Liddell, the famous runner who won gold in the 1924 Paris Olympics, who said, God made me for a purpose. God made me fast. And when I run, I feel his pleasure. It says in Proverbs chapter 27 that in water, our faces are reflected. And it's our hearts that reflect who we are. It is clear where Eric Liddell's heart lay. And my prayer today is that long after the Olympics are over, that that mirror that society takes to itself on some of the issues raised may lead us into greater open heartedness to see the value of each person who is doing what God designed them to do. We may not be athletes ourselves, I'm certainly not, but we do have our own story, perhaps of exclusion, overcoming the odds, struggles with finance or mental health. May we listen to one another's stories as we discern God's hand in them and the pleasure we feel when we use the gifts 
he has given to us, all of us. May we see God's face reflected as by opening our hearts, we begin together to grow into the kind of community that can encourage one another, can roar approval and delight in all that he is doing through each one of us. Amen. <laughs>